All right, so here's what we're going to be having for dinner. Got some chickpea curry. Should be tasty. And I'm going to set up my little stove and run through a demo of that. And then have a coffee, because I could really use a freaking coffee right about now. So here's the stainless steel cook set that I got at Mountain Equipment Co-op. There's one, two pots, and a frying pan. I think they're about 60 bucks. Stainless steel. They're quite solid. Um, they're awesome. They pack small. They all fit together. And the handles are super strong. They're a bit heavy, but... Uh, Whatever. You certainly aren't going to break them. You beat off the bears with these things. Starting to get a little on the water. Drink a lot of water today. Oil the pot. Got enough for cooking tonight and some coffees. Then we'll probably have to boil some up tomorrow. But that's no big deal. So once again, Mountain Equipment Co-op. I picked up the Dragonfly. Comes in this nice small little bag. It's compact, lightweight, extremely lightweight. Here's the pump. Heat shield and base pad. And I probably won't be able to get this out with one hand, so hold on. So here's the little unit, nice and small, compact, extremely well made. Try to do this one handed. So basically these little legs pop out. down. Okay, so I've already cooked a meal with this thing and it's really hasn't moved anywhere as far as the level inside. So I boiled one of those and there's tons of fuel left so yahoo. They work great. So all you gotta do, here's the pump. Make sure you get the grass off of it, because it's probably not good for the little injector. The whole thing slides inside. And then you just tighten it up. Pump it 30 times. And there's a little port. So what you do is you take the nipple here, make sure the swing hinge is on the right side. Insert it in there. I greased it up with a little bit of WD-40. You can use whatever you like. Hopefully it doesn't make it explode, but it shouldn't. Flip that into place. All right. Got my trusty Zippo. I'm going to turn the fuel on, if that's the right direction. And then pop the throttle out there. And what it's going to do is it's going to release it's going to release fuel into a little reservoir and the fuel is going to burn I'm going to keep the this closed as the fuel burns and what it does is it heats up the element here 
and once the flame starts going down and the thing's nice red hot I'll crank the, uh, the throttle up and the flame will start blaring out and we'll cook some water. So a little reservoir is filling up. Turn it off. Should probably use a match, but whatever. Oh. Don't burn the camera. So that fuel's burning down and it's heating that sucker up. chickpea curry. Put some bread in there. Cleans up easy. Packs. You just ziplock it so the bears can't smell it. Put it back in your pack. And you're good to go. Took me about, I don't know, four minutes. Pizza microwave. The dragonfly, oh yeah. Delicious. So the mosquitoes are pretty thick up here. I'm all bundled up. I'm hoping they don't come into the tent tonight, but uh, if they do, I'll be prepared.
There goes something moving. See it? I'm filming it. Oh yeah. There's the whole way. Where are you calling? Oh, I got that one in focus. Oh. Wow, is that ever fast. It's, I don't know, it's about 9.30, 10 in the morning. It's getting nice and hot out again. Beautiful scenery, the best in the world. It's incredible. I've got a snowball under my baseball hat, which is keeping me cool. It's a wonderful feeling. I met some incredible people yesterday. Everybody is so nice when you come up here. Helpful, um, you know, just great. Anyways, hats off to everybody I met. Um, thanks for the wine, thanks for the tips. I got eaten alive by mosquitoes. Everybody else had DEET. I had nothing, so obviously every mosquito in the vicinity was crowded over my head, but that's okay, I survived and uh, I'm walking out. Can't wait to come back. <laughs>